Hi everybody and welcome back to another video. In this one we're going to continue having a look at some VR assets and this week we're going to be looking at Hurricane VR. So a couple of weeks ago we had a look at um, Auto Hand and I also wanted to take a look at Hurricane VR as well. Now this one is a little bit more expensive, uh, I think 20 euro is more expensive. But it's a physics based system and the video looks great, it's got you using guns and shooting stuff and stabbing stuff. It's quite a violent VR demo. Um, we've got here five stars, the best asset, really amazing asset, won the VR template race for sure. It says Hurricane VR is a complete VR interaction framework with a heavy emphasis on quality physics interaction. Nice. It looks like it's updated regularly, which is always really good. Uh, and it's a five star asset. So why don't we go ahead? We're gonna bring this package into Unity. Let's take a look and see what it's all about. So here we are inside Unity, got the package installed, Hurricane VR, and the project is set up for XR. So all we've done here is using the XR plugin management, we've installed that, we've selected Open XR for both Windows and Android as well. And then we've added the Oculus Touch controller profile for the interaction profiles and enabled Oculus Quest support on Android. Uh, and that's about it. So OpenXR set up using the XR plugin management. When I installed this, it actually came up, a little, a little window popped up um, that linked you out to all the documentation and the, the documentation is actually quite robust and thorough. And then if we drop down here, we can see we've got the documentation here. So you can access that if you need to. I don't like reading things, um, but I actually had to on this asset and I'll tell you why. So I started off in the scene called scene examples um, and originally there was uh, just a generic XR rig that comes with Hurricane and this wasn't quite working out the box so I had to go through the documentation just to find out what I needed to do and all, all I needed to do was swap over the XR rig the tech demo XR rig open XR prefab and then once I'd done that in this scene here um, I was able to get the hands orientated around the right way and things are working as expected. Although when I first run this scene, I did encounter a crash. Uh, I didn't crash, but it didn't run because it, it came up with an error. Uh, and it was these two doors on this object that I just had to turn off. Just because I wasn't quite sure what was causing the error yet without delving too much into the actual plugin itself. And then once I'd done that, I was able to interact with everything in the world and I came into this room here and I started to interact with some of the objects but then when I picked up the spear I encountered another error which I wasn't quite sure what I'd done because at this stage I haven't done anything special or tweaked anything literally just opened it up so I decided to maybe leave this scene for a minute and I moved into moved into another scene called scene examples where before I recorded this video I jumped back in to make sure everything was working uh, and this scene I didn't have any problems with using at all. I did just have to toggle on the tech demo XR rig, the open XR version of that. But that was it. And everything seems to be working out of the box. And this looks really cool. It's all laid out. You've got your guns, your bows and arrows, and other pointy, sharp, stabby things that we can have a look at. And let's go through them together and see what this is all about. Right, so here we are in our scene, and you can see we've got some different desks all around us, and each one gives you a breakdown of what's going to go on on the table. And here you can see uh, we've got some different options for the scene. Then go ahead and interact with objects. We've got a row bar here we can interact with and move around with our hands. Left hand doesn't feel very as, re as responsive, it feels like it's a little bit disjointed from where it's in the world. So get a bit of a back mallet. Boosh, boosh. What I really love about this package too is that it comes with an inventory system so we can pick up large objects and then snap it to these areas and use this as, as kind of an inventory. And you've also got um, a rucksack as well. So if you reach over your shoulder, pull, you can pull out your rucksack and you can take items and pop those in like so and then it behind you so you can carry it around that's a very cool touch like that we have got chests that are again acting like a bit of an infantry so we can put stuff in there inside the chest and it'll store it for us our drawers which is nice and the hand is also forming to these objects as well see there we go to 
don't know what you call that when you pull that thing back on top, but the hand morphs to that position nicely too. But having that infantry functionality is really nice, kind of out of the box, and it's in a lot of VR games that I've seen, it's nice to be able to have that. Also got the kind of distance grabbing, so we can hold our hand out, you see the circle on the object there, and then you press the grab button, and it's going to snap to our hand. Also got some limited levers, we can operate those. So we've got some items which we can use to stab objects, sounds a bit violent. We're going to stab this poor bag shape of a face. Uh, just to see how this is working and each one's got a breakdown of how it all works so you can change stuff in the editor as well and pop your blade in <laughs> so violent you pop your blade in feels like it's got a little bit of force that you have to put in as you drive it in there as well so um brutal but um very very kind of satisfying at the same time you can use these objects to stab uh, items in different ways <laughs> this is such a violent demo over here we've got all uh, what I call like the standard stuff, all these things you'd expect in VR interactions like your turning objects and hand shapes nicely to those as well. And we've got your levers, so you can construct all your puzzles and stuff in your own VR worlds. Here we've got, uh, oh it's crashed with that. So that game object can only be on one layer again like before. I have to find out what that actually is. Maybe I can post a note to the developer and, and to see what causes that because I haven't touched anything in this scene. But, ooh, Milner! Let's see, am I worthy? Oh, hell yeah. I'm not that worthy. So then we've got our guns, and we've got the um, trigger, and then you can load it, and then grab the top to do whatever that's called, and then you can go ahead and fire. Do some real damage. Uh, oh, there we go. That's so put something on the head where if you get too near an object, it fades to black. So when you go to look down the sights, it goes to black. <laughs> oh, no, I'm out of ammo. More ammo. Yeah. No. Maximum damage. So that's cool. You got your bows and arrows. Grab one for the little infantry slot there, which is cool. And get your arrow, put it to your bow, and then do some more stabbing and damage to our guy over there. We've got these little teleport points you can press, which is a fun. They're a cool little demo, showcases all the stuff you can do in VR with this pack pretty well. And you'd probably you'd be able to put your own puzzles together um, and achieve different kinds of interactions oh you got you got to turn this okay so that's cool you got a socket in there and then you can turn it which then lets you open the door and that door works really nicely too so your hand goes into position so all in all really cool asset um it felt like the, the two-handed motion wasn't quite following my hands as i'd expect it felt a little bit like it's behind me like a little bit sluggish um but i'm sure there's probably some settings to tweak to get that working right. I really like the infantry that it comes with. So you can create your backpack here, put things in there and then tuck it away. That's really handy too. But that demo scene at the beginning, the very first one I tried uh, and those errors and the error I got over there, I'm not quite sure what they are, but if I can find out, I will put a comment in the uh, comment section so you can see what it was. So that's the VR side of everything. Pretty standard, very similar in auto hand in many regards. I feel like Auto Hand had a bit more kind of functionality in their demo scene, um, but I'm sure you, by spending some time getting to know how this asset is put together, you'll be able to put whatever interaction you want using uh, the Hurricane framework. Let's set, let's have a let's dive into a Unity quickly and just see uh, how things are shaping up in the Inspector. Okay, so in this scene, we've got our Tech Demo XR rig. It's got a couple of scripts on there for collision disabling and as I said before all this is very well documented so if there's anything you are unsure of I'm sure you can find an answer on there. Player controller that has got a character controller on it and a HVR player controller on it. It's all very extensive and looks like you could extend it relatively easily uh, and also some events for 
different actions which you can tap into to create some custom stuff as well. On your grabbables, these look fairly easy to set up to. Take a look at something you can pick up like the crowbar. It's got uh, standard stuff on there, the colliders. It's also got a HVR grabbable script, very similar to Auto Harry and an XR Interaction Toolkit where you've got stuff you want to pick up. Um, and it's simply a script you can put on there. I've noticed that this is pretty extensive and it contains a lot of things that you can figure and uh, the events as well which I tend to lean on quite heavily which you can uh, add listeners to or plug in your own interactions here to do some custom stuff. It's also got a, a socketable script on this grabbable object. I guess that's if you want to put it in things like your infantry system and a couple of other scripts here that look like it's doing something with haptics and overriding the rigid body stuff as well. So as long as you can, so you could use this scene as kind of like a template and just um, build up your interactables off of this relatively easily. So all in all, really good asset. Um, despite the few crashes I had at the beginning, I managed to get it, it working in this scene. Um, apart from that valve thing that I tried to pick up, but um, maybe I'd put a note to the developer and just say, you know what this is, and see if it's an easy, quick fix. But I could definitely see me using this in games in the future, especially just for like, you know the infantry system alone and figure out how that works. They're very, very cool. So I hope you found this video useful and generate a demo from here so patrons can have a play around to see if it's an asset they'd be interested in buying using in their own games. But I'll have a look and see what other packages are out there. Someone did put a, a, a package in the comment a week or so ago after the auto hand video. Um, so I'll go back through that and see what one uh, they recommended to me and we can test that one out too. Next week, we've got a couple of cool videos coming up. I'm going to do another shader video uh, and also some new tech as well. So um, stay tuned for that one. If you're not subscribed, then please consider a subscription. It really helps out the channel and keeps you up to date of new videos. But until then... I'll see you later.